Okay, good morning. I've already done my, um, I've already washed my face in the shower. And then I used my anti-wrinkle treatment already. Then I put on my climate control. And then I have used my daytime moisturizer. So there, I have filled in the wrinkles, which I don't have very many, of course, because I use great skincare. But I still use the anti-wrinkle treatment in the morning and at night. I always use my climate control because it makes my face feel like a baby's skin. Am I right here? Decollete. And I use my daytime moisturizer ooh, because it provides moisture that we need. And what is ironic is yesterday I was watching TV and I actually watched Dr. Oz and he was talking about hyaluronic acid and the steps to do your face. And I was like, oh yes, I have the best products ever. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I'm going to make, make sure I have a flawless finish, which I'm going to use my silk, which is a pore and wrinkle minimizer. So that goes on top of your daytime moisturizer. And what it does, it provides, puts a shield on your skin of filling in pores and wrinkles. And you can use a brush with that if you would choose, but I'm in a hurry. And I'm just gonna just rub it. And what it's doing, it's building a complete flawless shield over my face so that when I put my foundation on, it's going to go on smooth and there will not be a wrinkle and it's going to look great. And this also has the hyaluronic acid in it, which is what Dr. Oz says is the latest buzz in beauty because it does renew your skin cells. Unbelievable. It's also in the climate control. You want to get those. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a tip on, like I've been out in the sun some last week. I went to the beach, and I'm going to show you how to darken your foundation if you need to go up, you know, darken a little bit for the summer. Okay, now I do protect my skin from the sun with our sun, with our face, our daytime moisturizer. So now, last week I went to the beach, and yes, I fried my body, which I should not have done, but I did have on my 15 sunblock, which is in my daytime moisturizer, so my face never blistered none, not at all. Now, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm concealing with some white eyeshadow, which is called Snow. So all I'm doing is making a really good... Um, contour on my face with that eyeshadow. It's a cream to powder and it's gonna, it makes a great concealer also. So that's going on now. Anything I just kind of want to touch up. You know, we always have something we want to touch up. But if you can see through the video, everything's going on just like smooth as silk because I used silk before that. I'm gonna give you a tip. All right, so now let's just say that you've been out in the sun, you've been working in the flower bed, your body's gotten tan because I'm more tan. My body's tan, my face is not because I do protect it big time. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this with the foundation maybe that you already have instead of going out and buying darker foundation. So here is the tan foundation that I wear in the summer. Oh, I'm gonna do one. I got some air in this one. I should have burped it first. If you ever get our airless pump bottles, you just tap them upside down. And what that does is it gets the air pocket out and then you pump it until the air is out. And then once you get the air out, you get a full, you get a full good squirt of foundation. One squirt is all it takes of our foundation. And then I'm gonna do a squirt of pearlizer. And to darken it up a bit, I'm gonna use our bronze new blush. And this is a cream blush. So what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit of this to that foundation and that pearlizer. So what that's going to do is going to darken up my foundation. It's actually the same skincare. All this has got the same skincare with different pigments in it. I'm mixing it up with the end of a brush. Now I'm going to show you the, the difference in it. It's a little bit darker. So if you get darker or you just want to give yourself a tan, you can instantly even put this bronze blush in your body cream in your body lotion, your hand cream, whatever, and rub it all over, and it gives you an instant tan that lasts all day and renews your skin cells at the same time. So there's that. Now I'm gonna give you another tip really quick. If you have not seen this yet, this is called a stipple brush. This is the new way to apply your foundation. It's flat. I have these in stock. I sell them for $20. I wet the palm of my hand just a little, and I'm wetting the brush just a tiny bit. And what you do is you, you tap it, because when people, when they do airbrush makeup on movie stars or entertainers, what that's doing is the airbrush is doing the brush, the makeup in dots, like so many dots per minute. So when you do this with this brush, you're actually dotting this foundation on just like you did with an airbrush gun. And this foundation is gonna renew your cells and it's gonna stay on all day. It's gonna be completely flawless. Now, I love it. And you can see that it's going to take me not long at all to do this, and you're just dotting it is all you're doing. Now, see, there's my foundation. It's pretty much gone. I darkened it with the blush. 
Now it's perfect. Now I'm gonna take another brush and I'm going to make, I'm wearing a green top today. So this green top is a yellow base color. So I would not wear a pink blush with this. I'm gonna put some pearlizer right there and I'm gonna use the terracotta blush because it is a yellow base blush. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna put some of that terracotta blush right there. And also I did put a whole squirt of pearlizer and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna half it. I'm gonna half it right over there on top of that. I'm gonna put the other half with the terracotta blush. I'm gonna mix it. Okay, so now I just made a really pretty blush that goes with my green top. I could actually, if I wanted to darken it up, I could take the smoked topaz eyeshadow that I'm gonna be using on my eyes and I could put a little dot of that. And I could mix that in with my blush that I just made. And my blush is going to actually match my eyeshadow perfect and my lip color because I will be wearing a coral lip color. So now I'm gonna put the blush right here. Any beauty, I'm going to use a different brush for the blush. I'm going to blend it. It's going to look way more natural than a powder blush ever would, and it's going to match my complete wardrobe. And I'm going to do my eyes next. Thanks. 